Hi guys, Yuri here again. Welcome to YB Plays Music. Today I'm gonna show you how to play the intro of Smoke on the Water. This is definitely one of the most played intros on guitar in the world and partially that is because it's a very easy riff to play and a lot of beginners begin with this song when they start learning how to play the guitar. Now if you have watched my tutorial videos before then this should be a cakewalk. This should be really easy to pull off. Now if you haven't I'm gonna start off with a really easy way to play this. It's not the original but it's definitely recognizable already and then after I'm gonna show you how it's actually played in two different ways let's say. I showed it in the intro as well but perhaps you didn't notice it. Now first for the easy way I'm just gonna use the third string like this. Now I have a little bit of distortion, a little bit of drive on the sound of my guitar because that's also the case in the original song and I like the way that sounds. But now for the first and easy way to play this I'm just gonna use the third string. Only the third string. I'm using a guitar pick, a plectrum. You can use your fingers as well and use the finger picking technique. So it doesn't really matter. First we're gonna play the third string loose like this. Then we're gonna press down the third fret. Then the fifth. And I prefer to use different fingers for different positions so I don't have to move all of the time. Whilst a lot of beginner guitar players always want to use their index finger to play everything and that was the same with me uh, but then you have to move all of the time they use their index finger because they have more control over that but uh, try to exercise using multiple different fingers uh, because it will be easier and you don't have to move that much with your hand over the arm of your guitar like that. So if I press down the third fret, that's with my index finger. Then the fifth fret I'm gonna press down with my ring finger. If I'm gonna play the string loose, I'm just gonna call it the zero, fret zero. Okay, so we have zero, third, fifth. Now we start again, zero, third. And now we have six, five. And I use my ring finger and middle finger to play both the 6th and 5th in that case. Uh, but you can also use your pinky and ring finger. Then you don't have to move at all. I prefer ring and middle finger, but it's your own decision. So if we paste that together, then we have 0, 3, 5. Then we have 0, 3, 6, 5. Then we start over again, 0, 3, 5, 3, 0. And that's it. If we go a little bit faster, it will be more recognizable, like this. 5, 6, 7, 8, and... That's already pretty recognizable. Now, to play it like the original, we need to play both the third and the fourth string together. The good thing here is that we use the same frets on each string. Now we have to press down both the third and the fourth string on the same frets when we want to play this. And we have multiple ways to do this. The easiest, in my opinion, is just by pressing down your index finger as a mini bar over both strings, like this. <laughs> And it doesn't matter that you hit other strings with your fingers on your left hand because we don't play those. We only play the third and the fourth string. Now, if you play it by using finger style, it's actually pretty easy because you can use your thumb and index finger to play both strings like this. And that's pretty easy to be accurate. Okay, now if you use a plectrum or a guitar pick, you can definitely play only those two strings. Just be careful not to hit the other strings below that. Now I'm playing too much. I'm only going to play the third and fourth string. But the frets are exactly the same as if you play it with one string. So if we do it that way, we get this. Zero, three, five. Zero, three, six, five. Zero, three, five, three, zero. And again, if we go a little bit faster, it sounds like this. Five, six, seven, eight, ten. Right? 
right? Now, you have another way to play this, and that's by, instead of using a bar over the strings of your guitar, use both your ring and middle finger for this. The downside of using this way is you have to move your fingers up and down on the arm to press the frets, okay? The other way, you don't really have to move that much. Now, the upside of doing this is that you definitely won't hit the other strings. And also, if you want to give a little bit of vibration there, you can. Even though it's not necessary. But if we play it that way, it sounds like this. Five, six, seven, eight, then. Okay, and that's basically how it's played the intro of Smoke on the Water. Now, if you're just really a beginner and it's your first video that you watch for some reason, then I would suggest or you start by the first way I showed you or start by watching some of my earlier tutorials on my channels so that you can make progression and this will be a lot easier further down the road and you can easily do the second way to play this. So guys, I hope you learned something again today. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video. Also don't forget to check out my other tutorials. I have reaction videos and music videos for you guys to check out. So thank you very much and see you guys next time. Bye. This is by f I showed it in the it we're gonna place the third different fingers for this dip whilst a lot of beginner be whilst whilst a lot of while a lot of beginner whilst if I'm gonna play the zero fret zero I prefer ring and and right that's already pretty good right right that's already pretty good. and we can use b and we have and there are t and there are and we have different and we have and we have multiple plays because you can all be, I'm only going to use I'm only going to play the both use both your ring so that you can permit so that you can and you can right